Okay, now that we have the drawing complete and all of our shapes are closed, we want to save this version as a copy before we add color. To do that, you will touch the three dots and lines in the upper left hand corner. It is our files icon. You're going to choose gallery and instead, instead of the top option where it says save current sketch, you're going to choose the middle option where it says save current sketch as a copy. This will give us a duplicate and allow us to have a backup copy before we add color. So you can see that I have two. Let's open up our drawing again. And now I'm ready to choose the bucket tool in the top bar. When I tap the paint bucket, you'll see that there are three options, a solid fill, a gradient color fill from left to right, and a circle fill. We are only going to use the solid fill with the blue square. We don't really need to change the tolerance, keep that the same. So now I need to go to the color wheel. I can go to the color wheel by tapping the black circle You'll notice that my icon on the top of the hockey puck is the eraser. That doesn't have to change. It will change the color of the paint, regardless of whether I'm on technical pen or on eraser. So I'm ready to paint my pig. So I'm going to start with a pink and I don't want it to be too dark because I am going to add shadows, but I will pick a middle tone pink right about there is good all right let's say i'm happy with that color to release the color wheel i tap the desktop and now i can zoom in make sure i'm on my paint bucket and tap the shape now here's something that could happen if you accidentally tap the line itself it might fill in the line as a shape. Really important that you hit the undo button as soon as you notice that has happened. Okay, take a minute and fill in some of your shapes with color.